so what's this made out of right now? Uh, this is just made out of a piece of half inch MDF, uh, you know, fiberboard. Okay. I really like how you've got the, the hexagon with our logo, and I think that, like, my fingers fit in here. Well, but we, we can always enlarge that. You okay. Know, it's, it's like, you know, had to do something to, uh, you know, just as a display unit, you know. Oh, no, I, I can't get into the final engineer. I think it's probably the coolest, like, first run at a prototype for anything we've made. And um, I, I don't even know if we're going to have to change much on this. is looking awesome. But um, before we see if this really works with our bottles, you going to try this thing that we've no one's ever had before? Oh, I'd love cool. to. So we call this Tropical Beast, and it's, I think we'll have one more contingency series. And the contingency series was designed so that our production crew gets to make a mead, and I, I, I can't say anything about it. Okay. Sweetness level, like the ingredients, right. and I'm like, so this, this hard lunch. Is, is this a straight mead, or what, what exactly is so a this has, or? It's a melomel -mel okay. with vanilla. So we've got oh, grapefruit wow. and pineapple and vanilla in here. And so all of those are tropical things, uh -huh. and we wanted to have it, so it's 12.5% semi-sweet. It's gonna be acidic from the citrus, and the pineapple and tropical, but the vanilla kind of tones it down a little bit and adds some balance. Well, you know, I do. I put oh, vanilla, this one's yours. I put vanilla in uh, my lemonade instead of sugars. That's an awesome idea. And it, uh, yeah, the vanilla I bet will will tone this down tremendously. All right. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. Oh man, I love this. That's nice. It's good now. I mean, it, today's like a super hot day. This is, you know, warmer than room temp. I think no, if we no, serve no, this. No, I think serve this at room, this temperature, I, yeah. Right on. No, I, I don't think I would refrigerate that much, Jeff. So when did we first meet, like 10 years ago in the Homebrew Club? That's correct. We met uh, at the Whiskey Row Homebrew Club. You were giving a uh, talk about making mead, and you were also describing your methods your nutrients and your production secrets, if you will, yep. uh, about making your meat. And after that, I, I think I gave you a um, my first inlay of uh, two pieces of wood as a demonstrator, just so you can stick it in in your tasting room. And after that, you've been coming to me ever since for any of your special projects. Yes, yeah, so you've done all our flight boards from our original tasting room. You did all of our mead barrel stays for our new place in Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Now we're doing this kind of stuff for displays, for Total Wine, and maybe some other stores. And our we had to talk about the jigs later, too. Oh, okay. Those yeah. are all awesome. Right. Um, all right, cool. So the idea is that Hensley, our distributor, came to us and said, hey, Total would really like to have some kind of end cap display uh -huh. for their, for their oh, shelves. Okay. So I've been going into Total Wine's, well, my whole like adult life, really. Yeah. But periodically, just to see how do they do these things for wine. So sometimes they will have like a box like this. Sometimes uh -huh. they'll have just like what looks like wooden boxes stacked mm -hmm. up that you know they're empty but you assume they're full of bottles of wine and then the mm -hmm. top one is like at an angle so it's easy to read the label and pick it up but i like the idea of stacking boxes or even having like it might be See, more stable if we have a solid okay, yeah. kind of unit where maybe the bottom box is like it looks like it goes and it looks like it's kind of by itself but it's really just solid we have some like logo design on it mm -hmm. because no one really wants to go down like to the bottom shelf but kind of yeah. like if the bottle was here like on the second box you don't even really have to squat down you know when i go to uh, the liquor store that's where i pull i pull it right out about there on their shelf so that feels kind of natural i think you know i i buy a lot of your meat <laughs> as it is okay. do you want to put together like a single prototype in the in the elder or would we have to commit to yes as far as the price points go i know this is the mdf what do we yeah. have for options well at this point uh at your price point i could not construct it out of mdf okay mdf is just too expensive right it, re it really is uh this is like three times what i need it to be okay. so at the price point i need uh basically something like uh, a naughty elder, okay, which which is currently available, and you know it's elder. Think of it; it's a very strong, sturdy, fine grain wood. You know, it's it's light like your palettes here, okay, and in, in color. And most furniture manufacturers, in their wooden frames for their couches and their beds, and you know all the stuff that's not to be seen, if you will. Sure, that's what they make it all out of. 
elder. elder. All right. It, you know, because the elder comes as a very narrow board tree. And it's almost like dunnage for the industry okay. because you, you, everybody wants big, wide planks of, of, of width. But the trees themselves only get about six to ten inches around. Take the bark off and you wind up with boards four to five inches wide. So the only use for it in the industry is uh, basically furniture making. So in your process to take naughty elder to mm -hmm. make a box, would you have to join the planks together? Yes, I, I would, uh, of course, I would buy, you know, 12, 8 quarter uh, pieces of knotty elder as wide as I can get it. Right. Then I would basically resaw that down to the necessary specs for for the box. And how, how thick of planks do they come in? Uh, I found them recently eight quarter planks, which in layman's term is one and thirteen sixteenths. No correction, one and fifteen sixteenths of an inch thick. All right, so you'd be able with the kerf to get like three boards out of that one yes. piece. Okay. Very good, Jeff. But yeah, trust me, I've done the calculations. You've, ta you've taught me a lot over yeah, the I've years. Yeah, I've done the calculations, you know, because you just can't slab off a half inch board off of that. You, you got to figure in finishing that board, getting it exactly the width, and you know, they don't come off the saw nice and smooth like, like they do in the, the, the big box stores. So you said knotty elder, is that gonna look something like pine with knots in it, and you yes. said it's light, all right. Yes, and it typically has tight knots. Okay. You know, I mean, and it's not sappy like pine. Right, because if it's a small tree, it's gonna have small branches that makes the small knots. Yes, All right. exactly, they're, they're, they're tall, small knots. So. Cool, I think that, uh, We've got an awesome plan. You know what I'd like to do while you're here too is just get two different sizes of our biggest bottles and I'm going to stick them in here and see, see how it kind of looks see how the look would make be. sure we can grab them out of there yes. when we need to. Yes, and I basically spec them on three and a half inch diameter bottles. So. All right, let's see how um, some beautiful cherry mead looks okay. in this prototype. So we've designed these to be three bottles wide and to be able to go four deep. So we got a case of 12 in there. And for these guys, there's plenty of room to kind of like exactly. go yes. in and out. And if we're going back all the way, and this one's a little bit taller with a cap on it, and this is a little bit wider than these, so yeah. they're gonna fit. Oh yeah. I mean, if they were totally scrunched in, you still have uh, almost two inches on the front. So I think when someone's well, that, that was the, the idea behind the position of, of the faux handles here. When the, the box is full, you can be able to grab it at that level and still not get, you know, still be able to, to grab into it without the bottles getting in the way. Well, and we might not need the handles to be any bigger if, you know, they're not yeah. really... Yeah, they're just faux, they're faux handles, yeah. but, but if you wanted to make them, you know, usable, I would, uh, you know, put a little round over on them, you know, to make them a little softer on the hand. I think if we were um, doing the individual boxes, we would totally do that. Uh -huh. But I think for the purposes of these stacks, Stack. we're good. I'm gonna grab a couple more to set across the front. And I'm gonna grab a little bit more of this. this is, oh, help this yourself. This is really delicious. Let's see, it was this one, I believe. This was really, really delicious. I think we're good with, with these guys. All right. All right, so we're 48, we're three wide. I think it looks awesome. Oh, boy. Cool. Definitely can't get these things back into it. All right, I'm going to set the bigger bottles back and see how it looks with our 375s. Okay. I know we'll have room. I mean, we might even be able to have like a case and a half of the small bottles if they wanted to. Maybe. And we'll tell them, hey, you guys got to order like, you know, six cases every time then. So. There you go. You know, what, if that's the case, give me the specs, and then if I have to adjust the size of the box of just a little bit, you have the option. You know what? I'm just going to use these Tropical Beast bottles as, because yeah. we got them right here. You know. So these are our 500s, and they're about the same width oh, those as our 375s and height. So yeah, we could do four across of these if we want it. That would look e pretty easier. Sharp. Yeah, yeah. And but the, I think yeah. that the, you know, the aspect ratio is still oh, yeah, awesome. Easily. E and you know what? You still got enough to push them aside and get your hand in there. Yeah. To grab a bottle out. Yeah. 
two, three, and then you could go. Oh yeah, yeah. Why, might as well just do it for real. Yeah. All right, five. So we could do twenty bottles 20. of five hundreds or three seven fives, and I think they still look really sharp like that. Yes, absolutely. We have a universal display. Right on, buddy.